Hey, hello everybody. So I just come back uh, and started to explore with my memory palace just a bit. Uh, and today in the morning I, I was watching some Kubrick's uh, slit scan stuff and how they actually build the machine, how the slit scan technique work as large safe before it's a, like a complete uh, new technique. It's not just a specific patch or a specific uh, uh, aesthetics is, is more like a full technique that now that because we have memory palace we can do it uh, so I think I, I achieved some sort of a poor man's uh, slit scan and I wanted to show it how how I how I did it so you can continue exploring because this is a very very poor patch but it kind of works, so it's a, it's a startup, and it, at least uh, at least it, it helps everybody to understand what the the slit scan is. I'm using my sensory translator for for the audio as microphone, so the audio will be very shitty <laughs> maybe. But I just wanted to start the showing that I have nothing special patched to my memory palace, only the camera input I have over here. Hey, hello, and. So, uh, yes, I have this little camera there so we can see Memory Palace screen. And, well, basically, uh, the first thing I, I, I have as a challenge for this is to understand how the, the threshold uh, modes work on the Memory Palace. So, one of the things I, I, I needed to do first uh, was to be able to to, to, to to understand what were the different th uh, aspects of, of all those uh, uh, specific threshold modes and after a, a lot of testing I found out that if you use ramps uh, you can pretty much understand how all these threshold uh, modes work um, so I, I, I just really recommend you to, to, to load up some pretty simple ramps steals and start exploring um for this uh ramp for this for for instance uh, what i wanted to, to what, what i wanted to show you here is that um if we go into uh warp mode and steel so warp and steel um we see the ramp and one of the things that you will notice is if you try to play now with the width and the center is that the width uh kind of uh, controls the width <laughs> obviously of the of the window that we are doing and with the center we move this uh key window through the whole the scene so right now we see this uh, feedback because we are obviously on on uh, on warp mode, uh, but uh, we can we can make a, a thinner window and to to reduce contrast to just remove all those feedbacks uh, windows on the back, and so you can see how the center fader that I'm moving which actually I will try to show it like this so you can see how by moving the center the window moves and by obviously moving the width the width fader we can make our window thicker so this is this is one of the, the the things that you need one of the three key components that you need for the slit scan for a slit scan you need the subject that is moving and changing over time you need a window or a slit that will scan over the subject and you need the film or the memory and that's why the paint mode of, of uh, memory palace becomes very handy so uh well before going there i will just want to quickly show you how other ramps uh work so for instance this 
this mirror rev ramp um, you can see how it's somehow like duplicated and it moves away and towards it if you move the center of the if you move the center of the center fader of the threshold if you move the 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 width you may make it also thicker or thin and you move it with the center that means that the center parameter is the thing that it will allow us to do the scan of the slit so i will go back to the to load the the ramp okay so Uh, uh, the next step for me to show you the the, the slit scan will go will be to go into paint mode and to use uh, split in the in the in the memory palace. So now with the with if I clear everything, you can see how I can make thicker or or, or, or more or with a more wide window at at with the with the center you can you can move this window in 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 your in your input signal so um that means um what we want to do for this to work you can see me right there yeah, the rest is, is the frame buffer is that we need to automate the center parameter so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use a prismatic ray in in lfo mode I'm gonna use uh, a triangle mode, triangle wave wave output. Sorry, and I will input that into the width. I will uh, set the 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 width to a smaller scale. Uh, clear. I will clear, and I will set the offset where I want my, my slit scan to start. So maybe this is a good place to start for it. Um, and you can see I'm, we are only, we are here on only one, one, one part of, 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 of the key. If I move the center, everything gets scanned and stored on the break frame buffer. So um, again, I will clean everything. I will set my threshold window in the beginning and I will inc slightly increase the the, 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 the the attenuation of the input of the width so my window starts to move that's probably too much um, I'm gonna use Yeah, maybe a little bit more like you can see how this is a scanning. Oh, sorry. I, I, I input the signal into the width mode, into the width, not the center. So if I input the prismatic ray into the, into the center and I make a, a very th uh, thin window to scan everything, I will put my offset again here in the beginning and I will start increasing the the attenuation for the center. You can see how everything starting to get scanned. So that's probably enough. Uh, right now the 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 LFO probably is probably too fast, so I wanted to, to make it uh, slower scans like that. And yeah, it it, it works like that. I will add some softness, maybe a little bit more, and yeah, so that's that's pretty much 
the slit scan uh, if you want to store something on the frame buffer you just need to uh, well unplug the LFO and that's it so basically the, the, the what is what is, I'm using a ramp to, to shape my 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 window key my slit to create my slit I'm using a, a paint mode um, for storing all the information on the frame buffer is on a split so we, 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 we can uh, use the signals as, as we are we inte it's intended that we want for the slit scan and with a prismatic ray we are able to automate the scanning window and yeah it's it's pretty pretty nice I will say um so uh that's it i guess bye bye